Now, what is the most expensive of all of these things? I'm pretty sure it's going to be the nuclear program. And, in fact, we do need a ministry for that. Uh, Christ the Savior, where is that? It's right here. He's 45000 He's not that bad. He's not that bad. He's probably the least expensive. I think the most expensive, you know, the Golden Statue and Nuclear Program are equally priced. Well, we need to get a Ministry of Truth if we're going to do either of these. So I'm going to place a Ministry down and get that started. I could, in the meantime, while that's building up, and probably should get Christ the Savior, because it's going to take a while to build these things, and uh, Christ the Savior is not that bad. Is this actually... What the hell? Okay, we'll put Christ the Savior here. Uh, you know, we're all the way over here, so the tourists know what we're all about. Oh man, you can build them like... What, what do these terrain modifiers do exactly? You know, do they actually, like, give him, like, a special bonus or something? Because I never noticed that there were actually terrain modifiers. Hmm, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, well, actually, I think I'm going to place Christ the Savior right here, as is traditional of Tropic and Tradition. Uh, right there. I'm going to set that to... Actually, let's set that to a normal construction priority until we get the Ministry. And now we are in closing on debt. We need to make money. So I'm not going to build anything else. We're just kind of kind of sit it out, hopefully make um, some big bucks when a ship arrives to sell us some stuff or to get sold stuff more accurately. I'm not going to fix the overloaded garage right now. I can't, literally. Uh, also, this the traffic in this city is awful anyway. So there's nothing really we can do about that. Uh, unlike city skylines, we can't actually build, like, bridges and shit and one-way roads to fix this problem. Uh, so, unfortunately, that's not going to be an option. Alright, now we can do this, and we do need to hire a minister of the of the defense. Ah, oh, fuck note written in very bad English, Presidente. We set you up the bomb. All your building are belong to us. What you say. do it and shut it down for a few months. Um, we need to get a defense minister. Uh, so apparently the Ministry of the Defense can accept... Uh, oh my god, these guys are awful. Sure, just do Alonzo whatever. He, he works. <laughs> he works. Uh, now we just need to build our money back up. Unfortunately, this is going to get shut down for a few months uh, because it's being checked for bombs, uh, which is going to be kind of expensive. All right, the bomb threat's over. Secure this thing should, is, is, you know, should be good to go now, which means we should be back on our normal economic track. Uh, we do, we are running out of time. Well, not really. We have a lot of time to do this. It's just, I'd rather get it done as quickly as possible because it's, it could take a while. It could take a while to do some of this stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh my god, the shacks! Listen, there's like there's like cheap housing everywhere. You should be able to. You're getting paid twenty dollars an hour, no matter where you work. You should be able to afford a six dollar rent, you douchebags. You know what? I'm continuing my policy. If you can't afford rent, you ain't staying on the streets, buds. You're making way enough money. You're making way enough money to fucking live in a house. Get off. Fuck off. Starvation took victims last year. Unless we have some food problems. It's probably because of the oil crisis. I think um, gave us a food shortage for a period of time. Which isn't exactly the best, but it's also not the worst. The next thing we kind of need to build is the nuclear program. But we cannot afford the expenses yet. That's probably the next thing I'm going to build. Uh, because uh, it also prevents foreign invasion. So if we go into debt, we're not going to die. We can potentially survive going into debt, which at this point might happen because we're spending a lot of more money than we were before. So we need to load this on the boat. Ah, yeah, it's a big one. We need to get another big one to come in, though. I'm not going to spend all the money we just made like that instantly. That doesn't seem like a very good idea at all, in fact. That, that would literally probably put us into war with Russia instantly, and I'd rather not have that happen. What is our foreign relations right now, anyway? I mean, the USSR is kind of neutral with us. Uh, they're kind of neutral. Uh, because we refuse to price change. Which, you know what, Russia? You can go fuck yourself. If you think for one goddamn second, 
I'm gonna lower my prices for you. You've got another fucking thing coming. What do the USSR want for exports? Uh, because we might be able to do this. Our plan for winning the Cold War needs to enter the next phase. Okay, uh, I guess we can do that. I mean, we're already exporting some of this stuff anyway. Serves up! Ah, oh, no! Awesome. It's a tsunami! Shit, son. Well, hopefully that thing... Luckily, the tsunami, I think, mostly affects the boat. It mostly does this. Uh, wherever it went. Listen, I lack of college. Oh, come on, on, you fucking assholes! There we go. So we repaired everything. Everything that, that should get it working again. Which I fucking hate disasters. Really do. I don't want to instantly build it. So we don't really need that many college workers right now, and the only people that will piss off are the intellectuals. So I'm going to hold off on that and wait for the next big ships, and then, once the next big ship arrives, I should be able to actually build up a another of our requirements, our mission requirements, which would be good. Which would be very good. Assuming a ship ever does arrive... Oh, here it comes. Finally. It took it for literally ages to arrive. It's fucking ridiculous. Come on, load it up. Bring me the money. Where are these guys even at? They're not coming to work today? Where are you? I mean, there's way more than like two of you. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, here they come. He's going to take forever to get across town, though. Hopefully the ship doesn't leave before he gets there. Cause that... No, he didn't even... he's, not... he's not even coming to work. He's not even coming to work. Wow. Well, someone else had to do the job for him. What a fucking douchebag. Alright, well, in either case, we have the money now, which means we can construct the nuclear program, which I'm going to do right next to the ministry, so they all know what we're all about. That puts us at $34,000, which isn't the best, but it's certainly not the worst. Um, we could probably survive that, I think. We just need to get the nuclear program up. And then the final objective is the golden statue, which, of course, is going to be built... Um, I don't know where it's going to be built, actually. The golden statue of Gordon to affirm his power, his true power among the world. Um, it's probably going to be built um, by his palace. You know, it's just so everyone knows that uh, Gordon is here, that he is the reason that this society exists, and the only reason. The only reason. You know, this mission's called Tropic and Utopia, but looking at this place, this is not really what I'd consider a utopia. I'm just kind of saying, oh, why is our USSR relations abysmal? What happened? Ah, fuck. Let's get a um, defense minute. Let's get a... I need to get a foreign minister. That's going to be expensive, but it's what we got to do. The USSR is about to invade us, which isn't exactly the best. What happened? Oriented towards capitalism? I'm not oriented towards capitalism, you fuckers! I'm at 75% with the communists! This fucking game's dumb. This fucking game's dumb. USSR is dumb. They're fucking dumb, dumb. Listen, once we get the nuclear program up, the USSR can't threaten us anymore. So, that's the good news. They're trying to stop us before we get this up. Well, we're going to get a defense minister. I'm also going to set up a military base on the island. Um, potentially. Now, let's see. Can I do that? Uh, no, we can't. Mm. Alright, fair enough. So, we can't do that. I can't quick build this. And our workers are, des are deciding to walk off the job, which is perfect. We might lose the game because of this bullshit. Which would be fantastic. That would be great if that happened, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just be great? That would just be literally the best. The best thing in the world. I don't know why they're angry at us. We're not angry. The communists aren't angry with us. They're at 75%. They, they should be fine. What's our relationship with the U.S.? 
Can we get, oh, our U.S. relations are done. Why? What is happening to our relationships? We've done nothing. 